Okay, folks, I've had the lunch monitor about 10, 12 days now. And a couple things I've learned and noticed about it, and I just want to you know, share a few of them with you here. The lunch monitor is real responsive. I mean, it picks up everything. The Bluetooth is very quick. It doesn't miss as long as you put the ball where you're supposed to. It'll, it'll pick it up. But the graphics are really good, but it's not that great. And uh, the thing is, you could also, but you can play it on an Android phone or an iPhone or even a PC. And it doesn't have to be a gaming PC. It can just be a desktop PC. It will play it. So uh, that part is good about it. And if you want to go GS Pro, well, you're going to have to go with well better software for sure. And our better better computer with better graphics. And the big thing is uh, people ask me, well, you know, how much does it cost to do the you know, better computer and whatever? Well, it depends on what your needs are. What do your budget handle and what does your visual need to see? I mean, do you need 4K and a 4K budget? Or do you just 1080 going to be fine and you'll be just happy? Uh, the other thing is uh, you're dealing with a lot of big stuff. So 4K footage, and most people don't realize it, but 4K is well, it's four times bigger than regular than 1080. Yeah, exactly. Four times bigger. So everything has to handle more. So that's why the games get so intense when you run 4K. So, okay, guys, I feel like the spin numbers are really good. If you're using the balls with the little dots, uh, you use a standard ball, they lose 1,000 RPMs, and they kind of match up with what Garmin does with a standard ball. Now, I have not tested against the RCT ball yet, and I will be doing that this coming week. And I'm also going to be testing at a couple of indoor facilities. And uh, one of them's got TrackMan, the other one has full swing. So when I find the spin to be really, really good, but I find the miles per hour on the ball to be, well, half to one to two miles per hour below the garment. Don't know why. Don't know if it's location. Don't know what it is. It just, yeah, they have the same exact launch angle, but mile and a half difference in, yeah, ball spin. I got no problem with their pricing structure. I mean, they say, you know, no subscription. Well, there's not. I mean, if you want to use it, you can use it, but if you want to play their courses, you got to play their one point per person per hole. That's the way it works out. So, yeah, it's not that much. Okay, so, uh, if you want to do it. But I'm more be honest, after I seen this thing hook up to GS Pro, I don't think I'll be buying many credits to do that. Okay. I just don't think I will. I'll just keep getting my GS Pro every year and keep doing what I'm doing. That's where I'm headed. Now it's not perfect. It's got things to be fixed. Uh, right now we got some numbers aren't exactly perfect. So the numbers aren't exactly lining up as far as everything. Um, we also want to get some more metrics caught because there's a lot of 20 metrics on this machine and we're only catching five of them. So we need to get some more of them figured in here and figure out where to go. Uh, that's one thing we got to get done on. That. If you use up those thousand credits, you're going to be fine. Happen, and we can be just happy with what we got, okay? And it'll, it'll be good. I'm, I'm perfectly happy this way. Uh, the main reason that I was looking for an alternative to the R10 is, well, I don't know. I've made a lot of videos about interference, that's for sure. And I'm hoping I don't never have to make another one of those, okay? I'm sure I am. I really am. I'm hoping not. I still have it over there, and I'm going to be using it some. They've been comparing it and doing that. And my son has one. We're going to do his, but we got RCT balls over there. The, the main reason I changed is this. It's just technology. Um, Rapsodo and Garmin or Doppler Radar, they're bothered by everything in this room. That air conditioning unit, that freezer, that projector, that garage door opener, about anything can aggravate it. And it's just, I'm tired. I mean... It's wore me out, and I about broke myself in tenfold, okay, just to be honest, in screen wire. Yeah, fixing mine, my son's, and another friend's, yeah. So, yeah, these are the hook. I've always said that somebody will come along with something better than the Garmin at a decent price that'll do the things we want. And, well, this picks up them little short chips. Yep, it does. Two-foot chip, pick it up. Six-foot chip, pick it up. Put. Roll them across the floor. Just gets it perfect. I'm... I'm really happy with that part. There's only one thing on going on really in the the, the con connector right now is we don't have it where I'm hitting shots to put him. We hadn't got that part working yet. It hadn't been figured out. And it'll figure it out. It's just maybe a day or two to get it all straight. And then it'll all be up there where everybody can get them one and get it hooked up to the GS Pro. Garmin just so susceptible to everything that eats it up. And it gets hot here in the Carolinas. And I ain't turning off my air conditioner. So we're going to have to find a way. Okay, this is all there is to that. I, like everybody else, had huge issues with the short chips. I mean, just, you know, do all kinds of things to get them to work. 
Heck, I even come to the point where I got a little yip in my swing. Yip, you know, where I, where I snatch it back and bring it down to get it to read and pick up a chip. It, it works. But Lord of mercy, I made myself a bad habit. I'm trying to get out of it now. Yeah. I, guys, I hadn't experienced any missed chip shots, any missed putts, any missed long shots. I mean, nothing. I mean, we're going to my son's tomorrow. Now, I don't hit the ball hard, but he pounds it. So we're going to go over tomorrow and let him throw some numbers at it. And we're going to, you know, get the numbers all on film and try to get it all where we can compare numbers. And we're going to get a little more de detailed on the numbers, okay? But right now, we just want to get it working, okay? So, okay, guys, I'm sure I'm going to continue to discover a lot more about this thing and how to use it and working with GS Pro and connecting and all the things you do. I mean, you know, so um, that's what I'm looking forward to. It's going to be a fun experience. I learned spent two years with a Garmin fighting. And it was mostly fighting interference. I'd just soon have a good time and play more golf here, okay? So let's try that. It might be a little bit more fun. And, you know, and guys, at $700, ain't nothing going to touch this. Uh, you can buy you something or you can buy a, a whatever, but, you know, putting is unbelievable. Everything's good. Only thing I can say is just the changeover, and that'll get figured out. I mean, I think I played three or four rounds, and I just play it. For the fun, I mean, I got started and I didn't turn. I didn't have the cameras running. I was just playing for the fun of it. Because man, it was so nice to be back playing golf. You know, real fun GS Pro golf. So, yeah, um, the connector will be out real soon. Uh, and we'll have it all fixed up where it'll be ready for everybody. And uh, the first batch of these things sold out at the UK distributor over there. So, um, yeah, they're more coming, and uh, they got a list now, and they've already selling them on the waiting list. So, it. You like it and see what it's doing and believe what I think. I mean, I got it thinking, well, we can make it work. Because I was told by some people that we could. And, well, I have to say, the people that told me that, I believe them. I believed them then. I believe them now. So, guys, we got something great to have fun with. No interference. No loose Bluetooth. I mean, just all the good things we need in here. Less hassle. More fun. Play golf and have fun. You know, and. I ain't trying to compare this to a $30,000 machine. I just want to see if the numbers are decent. But it's in line with a Garmin or a Rapsodo or anything along that line. And so, you know, go play and have fun. I mean, if it's off a yard or two, what? Well, you missed it a yard or two, probably more than that. So, you know, that's the way it works. So, guys, do me a favor. If you hung around, hit the subscribe thing and that bell so you'll get the next one of these I do. Because, well, you know, about 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, and that would be a big help. And, uh, you know, maybe share it around, tell some people about it. That would be a good thing. And guys, do me a favor. You know, you can't take it with you. You know, you just can't. So spend it on something you enjoy. You know, put you in a simulator. Because, you know, your kids probably don't talk to you anyway. So I worry about it. Just do what makes you happy. Take care of yourselves, guys. We'll see you on the next one. And, uh, you know, may God bless y'all. See you later. Bye.